And this is how we represent the up quark visually. The particle itself is a fundamental particle and is too small to be seen by any imaginable instrument of observation. So we instead represent the properties that allow the up quark to interact. The central small dot represents the weak charge of the up quark. This charge, entirely separate of electric charge, gives rise to the weak nuclear force. This force causes up quarks and down quarks to swap flavors, and its typical range is much smaller than the diameter of a proton. Surrounding that is the volume depicted as gold for the up quark. This represents the electric charge of the up quark, which has a positive charge of plus two-thirds units. The electric charge is the generator of the electromagnetic force which has infinite range, although the drop-off in strength is pretty dramatic as we move away from the quark. The larger volume of shifting red, green, and blue is meant to represent the color charge which generates the strong nuclear force. This is a force that holds quarks together in a proton or neutron. And a residuum of this force holds the proton and neutrons together in the nucleus of an atom. This force is a hundred times stronger than the electromagnetic force, but its range is limited to about the size of a proton. This is how we represent the down quark visually. The particle itself is a fundamental particle and is too small to be seen by any imaginable instrument of observation. So, we instead represent the properties that allow the down quark to interact. The central small dot represents the weak charge of the down quark. This charge, entirely separate of electric charge, gives rise to the weak nuclear force. This force causes the down quark to change into an up quark, and its typical range is much smaller than the diameter of a proton. Surrounding that is a volume depicted as purple for the down quark. This represents the electric charge of the down quark, which has a negative charge of one-third units. The electric charge is the generator of the electromagnetic force, which has an infinite range, although the drop-off in strength is pretty dramatic as we move away from the quark. The larger volume of shifting red, green, and blue is meant to represent the color charge which generates the strong nuclear force. This is the force that holds quarks together in a proton or neutron. And the residuum of this force holds the protons and neutrons together in the nucleus of atoms. This force is a hundred times stronger than the electromagnetic force, but its range is limited to about the size of a proton. There are two kinds of quarks that are found in normal matter. Physicists call them flavors of quarks. These quarks are the up quark and the down quark. A proton is formed from two up quarks and one down quark. While its slightly heavier cousin, the neutron, is formed from two down quarks and one up quark. The red, green, and blue colors of the quarks represent a property that attracts them to one another. It is this color charge property of the quarks that hold them together in a proton or a neutron. 